Welcome back to the Craig Art channel. Thanks for joining us today. Let me show you what we have working out out here. All right, two snow blowers to work on. One, the first one is this Toro 824 Power Throw. Uh, it's got one of my favorite motors, the Tecumseh Snow King, as does this one, which is a Craftsman 9 horse 26. It has the 9 horse uh, Tecumseh, same engine. Um, I think they just make the I think the bore is the same. I think the stroke changes. I'll have to look that up. Maybe you guys can put that down in the comments. And then the next thing on this one we'll get to, this will be a second video. Got a new handle coming. And tires look really nice on this. This one looks like it's in pretty good shape. But as with every MTD, man, they make those things so thin. I did buy a new scraper blade, as you can see, that's completely messed up. All right, everybody, we're going to be working on the 9 horse 26 inch Craftsman, which is model number 247888520. And there's your serial number. You want to take a look at that? So, normally, what we would do is work on the carburetor. Uh, oh, here's a good shot of the carburetor right there. Look how gummy that is. Wow. Oh, what a mess. We are not messing with this. This is a non-runner. Won't run unless you put it on full choke. And even with full choke, it sur surges. I got a new carburetor, so I'm not even going to deal with it because that's a mess. I'll wind up cleaning that and seeing if I can get it to you know, keep it as a spare if I can get it clean. First issue we have, um, and there's multiple, so there's the carburetor won't run. We're missing a bolt here that goes through, and you can see right there's a hole. So there's likely something inside here, and that goes with, good Lord, oops, oh, there's the bolt. So there's the bolt. And there's the, this flange piece that goes up against here. But there has to be something in there, like a nut. And I think that's somewhere in here. Hopefully it's still in there. We got a broken handle here. That is no fun in the cold. I got a new handle. Um, all the knobs are intact. That works real good, the plunger. Uh, so that's the first step. We're going to take this off. Oh, so the last thing we have is a scraper bar, which I probably showed you in the other video. I ordered the correct one. Which is over here. And I ordered new nuts, new bolts. All right, so if you have the 26 inch MTD which could be any variation. You're gonna need this. Part number from Stenz is 780-432. This is the 26 inch. Uh, they are a wear item. As you can see what happens if you don't replace them, you will wear uh, right through to your frame. And this one, this one was caught uh, pretty close. I mean, that bolt's gonna to have to be cut off, ground off there. Most of them will. I don't think I, I don't, the ends, there's not enough. We got a bent uh, corner we have to straighten out and we've got to flip these shoes. There's still some life on them. So that's the first step. We'll take this off here, see what's inside. All right, we're gonna, anytime I take these bottom plates off, it's kind of like doing a reveal. You never really know what you're gonna find in here. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, baby. <clears throat> yep. Almost looks like rabbit hair.
All right, that gets our cover back on. We're all set there. Now it's time to start working on the engine. Like so. There we go, starter handle, Oregon. And that's uh, 31907. There. Give ourselves a little knot. Just a granny. Just a granny knot. That's all you need. There we go. How's that look? Looks good. Okay. New handle. We're getting the old gas out. Looks really bad. It stinks. Really yellow. Right. Smoke this up. Don't have to go too crazy. We're just pinching that gasket. That looks like that is snug. That's snug. That's snug. It's on there good. All right, now it's gonna come to, uh, that works, choke works. We're gonna put the cover back on. But before we put the cover on, um, we're gonna run some fuel in this and new fuel, ethanol free, get it running and then uh, do our fine tune adjustments. All right, let's check that oil. There was oil in it when it arrived. Yep. We're at the add mark, but that's enough. All right, um, full choke. That's working, it's good. See, here goes nothing. Got our new handle on. our idle too. <coughs> the, the low speed and the high speed are actually interrelated. So it's not like one just does the other. This carbur well I think a couple things. One I think the Garner linkages are worn out on uh, they're definitely rusted So that changed the position of where the idle is and you'll see that white mark paint mark. That's where idle is now um, It runs pretty good with the new carburetor, but these Chinese carburetors are hit and miss in terms of um, You know some are really good and others just are so so and this one took some a lot of tuning it does have the um, idle speed uh, high speed idle uh, on the bottom and then it's got the idle adjuster on the side Change the oil, let's uh, pull synthetic, put some non-ethanol gas in there, 
and uh, adjusted. When I first got it, the uh, auger was running. I just flipped it. The auger, the auger was running as soon as I turned it on. But they use these flimsy little cables on these. So um, there's the errands. That's next. Well, actually, this one's next. It brought me two. So I gotta do this Toro 8. And as you can hear, it's running real good. Let me shut that off. Yeah, it's running real good. Here, I don't mess around with cleaning carburetors unless they're already looking pretty clean. As you, you'll see in the, you know, what, by watching this, you saw how dirty these carburetors are when they're that dirty on the outside. You can only imagine what they look like on the inside. It's just not worth the time and the trouble to try and clean a carburetor. It, they just, would, would that use ethanol fuel? When you use ethanol fuel, forget about it. You've, these engines are not made to run on ethanol. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And if you are a subscriber, I appreciate your subscription. And if you are not, please click the subscribe button, hit the like button, get me into that algorithm so that uh, YouTube uh, puts my videos out there so that others can can see how to you know, work on a snowblower. All right, thanks a lot for watching everybody and we will see you all in the next video.